Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this watercolor cake decorated with gold leaf. I have some vanilla buttercream that I'm applying to a 10 inch cake board, and then I'm sticking my seven inch cake on top, and then filling it in with some more vanilla buttercream. The recipe will be in the description box below with a link to the tutorial for that one. Build your cake and then apply your crumb coat. So this is just a fine layer of buttercream around your cake, and it traps in all the crumbs. I'm going around with the bench scraper to smooth it down and then with my spatula up top to bring that lip of frosting to the center. Pop it into your fridge and then work on your top tier. This is a 5 inch cake sitting on a 5 inch cake board if you can see there at the bottom and I've applied it onto a larger cake board with some buttercream. Following the same steps as the other one, just creating a crumb coat and into the fridge she goes. And now for our bottom tier we're creating a much thicker layer of frosting and that's going to sit underneath the fondant. And you're pretty much following the same steps as before, just making it much thicker. Go around slowly to create a nice smooth finish and then clean up the top by bringing that lip of frosting to the center. Back into the fridge and then work on your top tier following the exact same steps. With the fondant, I like to use the Bakehouse brand of fondant. I think it works really nicely and it's um, really easy to handle. I roll it out to about three millimeters in thickness and then drape it over my cake, go around with my fondant smoother up top to press out any air and secure the very top edge. To apply your fondant onto your cake, just undo those pleats and press down on your fondant, attaching it to your cake. If your buttercream is a bit dry, you might need to brush on a little bit of water so your fondant sticks. With the fondant smoother, I like to secure the very bottom um, of the cake, the, the, the fondant, onto the very bottom of the cake because sometimes it tends to pull up. Cut off the excess and then with two of the smoothers I like to pinch the fondant in between in circular motions adding a little bit of pressure just to create those nice sharp edges. Smooth the um, outside of your cake and then do the same with your top tier. Here I've applied five bubble tea straws into my cake which is um, cut flush with the fondant applied a little bit of buttercream and then sticking my 5 inch cake on top. There is a cake board still attached to my 5 inch cake. With some turquoise gel food colour and some rose water spirits I'm creating my watercolour paint. I'm mixing it in. It was a little bit too dark for my liking so I just put a little bit of that liquid into a different plate, diluted it with some more of the rose water and then with a really large brush, I'm using a blush brush here, I'm dabbing it onto my cake. Now the fun thing about this is you can build on the colour, so every time you put your um, brush back into the watercolour and onto the cake, those areas become darker. So you can really uh, play around with this one. I decided to go in a diagonal kind of pattern here. And with a different brush that has just rose water on it, I'm dabbing it in areas that I found were a little bit too dark and removing some of that colour. Then with a little bit of water applying it onto my fondant so it becomes sticky and I'm attaching some gold leaf directly onto my cake. You don't want to add too much water onto your fondant otherwise the gold leaf won't stick so it's a, you need a bit of a balance here. If you think you might have applied a little bit too much water, you can dab some off or wait for it to dry a little bit and then adhere your gold leaf. Rather than just sticking to the very outside of the watercolour pattern, I decided to go in a little bit more and attach some of that gold leaf onto the actual coloured section and I think that looked a lot nicer. I have applied it on both sides of my cake. If you like, you can just stick to the one side or be a little creative with it. Got in a bit more into the center and you're done. I'm going to make a very easy watercolor cake decorated with a blush brush. It's actually very different to the watercolor cakes that I had made on my channel before. I know I love the watercolor cakes, I've made a fair few of them, but this one by far is probably one of my favorite sort of designs, especially with the elegance of the um, gold leaf. You could use silver leaf instead. You could paint it on with edible um, luster dust mixed with rose water to create a paint. That'll look really elegant as well. But um, really 
experiment with this one and the colours too. Thanks for tuning in to this Tuesday's cake decorating tutorial. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. I do upload a new video every week. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time.